But with a constant stream of information flowing from these instruments, how do you handle it all? Where does all the data go? The information is collected at a data center and sent to an archive that receives every day roughly two to 3,000 files containing about 100 gigabytes of data, seven days a week for the duration of the 10-year program. But the terabytes of data gathered by the ARM program are not hoarded or locked away for safekeeping. We believe in, in ARM. The accessibility of data to the entire scientific community is absolutely critical. And the development of the web technology makes that data directly available uh, to a wide variety of scientists for purposes that are not only the study of climate, but the study of other meteorological and atmospheric science problems. We probably have three times as much use of the data for purposes over and above those of the program as we do for the program itself. Uh, supporting the validation of satellites, supporting meteorological research, uh, supporting basic investigations of uh, atmospheric science on smaller scales. And we believe that people having access to the data, in fact, lends credibility to both the calculations and the data themselves. Members of the general public and even grade school students can take a peek at some kinds of data. And each site makes a major priority of both educational outreach and community relations. In the tropical western Pacific nations of Papua New Guinea, Nauru, and Kiribati, community relations extends to actual partnership in daily operations. If we don't have the solid support of the community and the government organization we're working with, then we can't operate. The pressure and this one is Temperature. Over here we chose early on to go with a different kind of staffing strategy. We operate with locally hired observers or operators, and that's through their organization or their government. So day to day, we're dealing over the phone, fax, and email with local staff who are part of their community, and they also not only take care of the instruments, but they'll also give tours to the schools and make sure that the community is aware of what is going on at the site. But has the ARM program been worth the efforts? ARM is the labor of love of very many people that have worked long and hard, first to design it and now to have launched it and to be reaping the benefits of its success. When we started, I don't think we ever could have dreamed that we had been able to accomplish what we have so far. Well, I think the program has made excellent progress. It's gone from being a 160-acre wheat field in the spring of 1992 to an observing system now that generates almost 300 data streams continuously from an area that covers more than 55,000 square miles. We're sort of adding to our knowledge brick by brick, piece by piece. ARM is putting a lot of emphasis on data quality and to make sure that the data can be used for generations to come. And I think that for the first time in a meaningful way we have both the data people and the model people sitting down together talking about scientific needs. I am extremely gratified by how the hard work that we put in has paid off in terms of the success of the scientific endeavors, the recognition and respect of the scientific and science management community and with the reactions we're getting everywhere we go among the folks that know about the ARM program. The data is being used right now all over this country. It's being used in European countries. It's being used in Japan. Uh, every time we add data to it, people pick it up and process it. And the sense I have kind of looking to the future is that uh, we've really changed the way in which atmospheric science is done, particularly relative to climate. ARM will go a long way to improving the models to the point where we can make more credible predictions for the policymakers. The value of the ARM data will be revealed more and more as years go by and as the scientists mine the treasure troves of the ARM data for their individual and collective pursuits.
ARM, the Atmospheric Radiation Measurement Program.